Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. In this The Daily Eco video, we explain everything you need to know about coral reefs and their importance. Let's dive right in. What is a coral reef and how is it formed? Coral reefs are constituted as complex calcium carbonate structures that are home to an immense variety and quantity of aquatic animals and plants. The main organisms that constitute them are stony corals, characterized by a hard calcareous skeleton. This skeleton is formed from the continuous secretions of coral polyps, small invertebrate animals that tend to anchor themselves to the rocks of the seabed. There, they find the food and the ideal environmental conditions to reproduce, giving rise to thousands of clones of polypus. These end up constituting an extensive calcareous structure that connects them together, giving rise to an extensive colony in continuous growth and evolution. The formation of marine coral colonies can take place over thousands of years. Therefore, today, we can find reefs that began to form more than 50 million years ago. Types of Coral Reefs To begin with, we have the coastal reef, since it is directly connected to the shore of the coastal area, sometimes being somewhat separated from it by some type of channel or shallow lagoons. On the other hand, there is the barrier reef. The structure of these reefs appears separated from the coast by means of sediments as a barrier or deep lagoons and channels. Finally, we have the platform reefs. This last type of reef has a more or less circular shape extending around a central lagoon. Where are coral reefs? The Australian Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef in the world, stretching for more than 2,000 kilometers off the coast of northwestern Australia. The tropical climate of its waters, together with the shallow depth of which it is found, and the absence of cold ocean currents, are the factors that make it possible for it to be located in that strategic position. For this reason, it is also possible to find a large number of coral reefs in the coastal areas of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, such as in Southeast Asia, the Yucatan Peninsula, Honduras, the Maldives, and the Bahamas. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. What percentage of marine biodiversity do coral reefs harbor? Is it A, 10%, B, 15%, or C, 25%? Think about it because at the end of the video, you'll be able to find out if you're right. Coral Reef Ecosystems Coral reefs function as a single individual organism, in which there is a great variety of interspecific relationships, such as the outstanding symbiosis between the polyps and the algae that make up the corals of the reef. The immense biodiversity in coral reefs can be home to hundreds of different types of corals, thousands of varieties of mollusks, and millions of colorful coralful reef fish and different species. These animals find in these aquatic ecosystems the food and shelter they need to survive. Importance of the coral reef Reefs play an important role in natural adaptation to climate change, as they are natural stores of carbon. They are capable of absorbing atmospheric carbon dioxide, thus reducing the climate risks associated with greenhouse gases. Likewise, the great richness of its biodiversity makes it one of the essential aquatic ecosystems for the survival and protection of millions of species of animals and plants. In addition, they play an important role also within the social and economic aspects of the regions in which they exist, since billions of people in the tropics depend on them for their subsistence. Coral reefs are in danger of extinction. According to the Intergovernmental Panel of Experts on Climate Change of the UN, up to 90% of the current coral reefs will be lost in the near future if we are not able to stop the increase of the global temperature of the planet to plus 1.5 degrees Celsius. The increasingly rapid bleaching of corals causes them to slowly die, due to the stress they suffer from the continuous increase in water temperature, human action, the acidification of the oceans, and the extreme changes in the amount of light and nutrients that reaches them. And going back to the question we had asked you before, have you thought about it? The correct answer is C. Coral reef ecosystems host up to 25% of the total marine biodiversity that exists in the oceans. So tell us, did you know the importance of coral reefs? We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.